Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Bing in Wonderland. This is gonna be a weird one, but not super weird. Uh, honestly, very familiar in many, many ways. Uh, I'm just gonna jump into this because that way I don't really have to do much of the talking. Uh, you will just kind of know what what this is. Um, all right. Well, okay, so we'll talk about this. Uh, maybe in a minute, but um, maybe you can already tell what kind of game this is uh, You probably have seen what you know this game floating around. It's been making uh, I'm Turn it down a little bit. Hold on. I'm taking some I'm taking some extra damage that I don't need to be Oh my god on the first stage here uh, This this game has been getting some some fairly big press uh, For good reason from the various uh, roguelike channels um, and yes, it is a action roguelike it is um, another one but not necessarily just another one. Uh, it's good. It's just really good. And you know what? I, I'm always um, up for a game I've played a thousand times before, so long as it's uh, either not uh, the game I've played a thousand times already, or it's just a good execution of that game. Special now applies to footed. Uh, this one does some things differently. It's got definitely a style and flair that we have not seen before too many times. And it's also got some interesting mechanics that I have not seen too many times before. Uh, some of them skill based, some of them are just, you know, fun and, uh, you know, don't necessarily make the game more difficult, but actually just make it more compelling and a bit more, you know, fun to fly around on. So what, what do we got going on? I mean, I'm playing a, a build with uh, the bow. Um, I've got a separate character. I can't even remember what our second character does. It looks like we have like a little fish character there's strange things happening in this game and all of them are pretty wonderful um but yeah we've got a bow uh, if i hit it on at the right timing then i'll, I'll do a bit more damage so we've got a little bit of a, a skill gap there and you can you can really get into a rhythm of things and like get perfect shots almost every time um, we do have an active ability that lets us shoot a bunch of uh, arrows at once and uh, we'll get more active abilities. Increases perfect shot damage, this is good. Here's a, another mechanic that I think is actually pretty cool, is uh, you don't necessarily have to spend money to buy a power-up. If you really want it, you can beg for it. And that increases our beg meter. Uh, I believe, I'm not actually sh super sure what the beg meter does, but I am pretty sure um, it actually increases the difficulty somewhat or it might be that if you increase it too much you just lose or something but it's it's a little bit different hat toss range slightly reduced oh yeah i forgot we also have a hat toss range we're gonna increase yeah we're gonna go for it these are increasing our diarrhea amount yeah it is really that kind of game uh it's a little bit poopy humor tee hee ha ha poopy humor love it um we do have a, a hat throw I forgot about that. That's yet another, um, a little, like, ability, like, mobility ability. It's a mobile skill, I guess. But we can throw our hat, um, and when you throw your hat, it'll spin for a bit, and then we can basically teleport our hat. It's kind of basically our dodge. Uh, and you might notice that we are doing this, like, extra stomp ability. Um, that is basically when you hit an enemy enough times, it builds up like their kind of um, stagger meter, we'll call it. It is like an exhaustion thing, but like it's basically stagger. And then um, you can press the W key. I am using mouse and keyboard. I think that, that is probably the best way to play this game. Um, I didn't realize that coins actually disappeared. Um, to stomp them, some enemies actually require you to do this because they won't take damage until uh, they've been staggered. But also you can kind of combo things because any enemy, it's an area of effect spell or, or skill. So any enemy that's kind of standing nearby um, will take a little bit of stagger damage. So you can actually combo things together uh, when you get good enough. In fact, it, when you get really good, uh, you can actually like chain combo everything together and it, it makes for a, a pretty fun experience. I've, uh, I've, I've been really enjoying this game. I've been playing it on my off time. I wasn't even sure if I was going to cover it. I was like, you oh, know, oh, this this could be, uh, you know, not to put it, um, uh, in, not to be insulting, but I was like, uh, is this going to be another flavor of the month game? Is this, you know, and um, I was very pleasantly surprised to find that I was enjoying it and actually coming back to it uh, and actually like making my best efforts to um, progress in it. It's it's actually quite good in that way. I've, I've been 
a little bit burnt out on action roguelike so this this one um the fact that it broke through that jadedness and cynicism uh was kind of uh incredible eating restores well we didn't uh we can't take that we can take these though i could beg for these let's see what uh what these do for us let's increase that perfect shot again and beg some more we're gonna fight get to our boss um this game does have meta progression i've been very uh vocal in my dislike for meta progression but i don't mind it in this game at all and i'll tell you why um the first time i beat the uh, or played this game i beat it so that that did a lot to um encourage me and also um the the game does one thing really well that i appreciate uh over a lot of other roguelikes is it has um kind of like different gates of difficulty so this is our first boss um after this we have another like another set of stages and another boss right um you can see i mean like it's been six minutes so it your first playthrough of this game will be really short and then once you've beaten that boss then you unlock the next set of stages and the next boss so the game does a like like i've been saying this i've been saying this like so much just the most obvious smart thing that i think an action roguelike with meta progression can do is you know gate your progress gate your meta progression behind victories and not necessarily just behind death and loss because i find that that is just so tedious because it, that just tells me that you like i need to die uh like 60 more times before i actually get to progress i don't get to have any meaningful progression until i've done that and i find that to be really tedious imo uh personal opinion subjective all of that whatever whatever you need me to say in order for this to not be an attack on your character um but like i i do find that the, to be a lot more compelling and a lot more encouraging uh is when i am i am actually able to progress based on my victories and not just be based on you know did i get enough of the zappy points you know perfect shot damage and window plus chance to heal one yeah this this looks really good i guess we switched books i'm not sure what that means that's an, uh, that's another thing that i i'm not sure about blade and hat i have a i should be using my hat a bit more often so let's let's try doing that now we'll be maybe making some blades when we yeah we've made a, a spinning blade big tree plus med merchant so yeah i have also been vocal in the past about how i'm not a huge fan of this like very oh we can't see our health oh that's dangerous um i don't like this like splitting road thing that we've seen a bunch of times before because it is so played out I, I just you know i would like to see um some games do it differently and i think that this game does do it differently exactly differently enough that it doesn't feel like exactly played out and really it's 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 very simple all it does differently is it doesn't let you see the entire um road we died being wasted um it doesn't let you get to see like the entire crossroads of of uh choices that you'll be making in the future you just have two choices and that's it simplified condensed um it really just condenses the whole thing into one decision and i do appreciate that it's it's easy um it's accessible it's 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 fun it's just fine it's good it's something it's literally anything different than like every single one of these action roguelikes doing exactly the same thing every single time which is you have a a road and you have little crossroads and uh you're gonna see oh there's there's a campfire there so i'm e either gonna be upgrading or i'm gonna be healing and it's just like i understand that a lot of these games are uh fighting the temptation to reinvent the wheel like i know i understand it was like we don't want to invent reinvent the wheel we know it worked so we're gonna do that but i do think that at a certain point re reinvent the wheel please give me a different wheel for god's sake give me a square wheel even if it sucks i i want to see something different um because it's like you know at a certain point i have to ask the questions like if you're just gonna do that again do the same thing that everyone else is doing then why don't i just play that again because that worked pretty well when i played it in that you know so we have different stages as well um something i also appreciate in this game is that you're not just going through the same 
uh, wheelhouse every single time. We've got a different um, like selection of maps basically with uh, a variety of different enemies. So like you, you really pick in your flavor. I do think that certain w weapons are going to work better for certain stages. I play, I tried the, there is a, um, a gun. It's kind of like a cannon and it's actually very difficult to use and I tried it in one stage and got absolutely destroyed on basically the second stage um, so I was like yeah that just straight up doesn't work and then switched to, to this lad the, uh, the spear and I was finding that things were a lot easier so I do think that certain weapons are, are catered uh, they catered better to two different stages movement speed and weapon damage when taking hits no I don't think we need that attack when lying down will not interrupt recovery of stab bar not sure what that means. Reduces spear key spread. Sure. Pretty sure that... So we have these... Uh, the spear is a little bit different. It has a ability, extra ability that we can um, charge up by not attacking. So uh, I guess in a... You know, kind of similar to the bow in that we have to wait a little bit to get a, a more of a, a better skill. But I, I've often, you know, found just like attacking nonstop with it is good too. Like, you don't have to do the um, the timing with the bow. It's still good. We also have, a, like, our cool, like, big old attack with the spear. But you know what? Maybe being a little bit patient is actually good, too. This uh, this turnip enemy is actually quite, quite tough. You will uh, get to know certain enemies and, and know how to deal with them differently or better. Um, so can we beg for something here? Gain the ability to create blades. Special now applies to footed. I don't know. Uh, is footed is a... What is footed? One foot surrounds the enemy and slows him slightly, then kicks him after a circle. I don't think we have anything that can apply footed, so I don't know if that's actually going to be helpful. So let's beg for the blade in the hat. And I'll try and use my hat a bit more often. It is actually very good. Especially if we're making blades. Oof. I took some damage there. I didn't need to. There's a, another kind of weird mechanic that is... Um, when you take damage, if you do some damage right away, you have the potential to uh, get your health back. A little bit of it back anyway. Kind of like a, a little bit like a Bloodborne. This guy is a problem that I need to deal with. Those Nan breads will heal us slightly. We can we can use our special through. Ouch! Oh, I guess we got poisoned from that. Eight and Nan. What was, uh, what was that last thing we ate? At now flies further. Every stab bar allots two extra stabs. Um, boosts the recovery rate of the stab bar. Stab bar attack, but less stab. Kind of don't hate that, um, but I don't really want to beg for something. So I'm actually going to just forego uh, a power there in order to save. And I like that kind of decision is always pretty compelling to me. I appreciate when like sometimes not taking a power is actually the right choice where you might notice we're also getting um little power ups that will reduce our begging meter someone's gonna tell me in the comments maybe uh what the begging meter does i'm not sure i know but you know we know it's bad right we know we don't want it necessarily I would assume that it, it means that we either have to fight some more enemies or harder enemies. So this is a new enemy I haven't seen before. Um, but it's it's got like little protective food, little shells and stuff. I'm finding it difficult to do damage to it without taking damage yourself. Okay, there we go. We'll get some Nan, heal up a little bit. Here's our first boss for this stage. HP plus 10, hump, uh, I'm sorry, jump height reduced for the next battle. Um, HP plus 5, movement speed plus 10%, defense less negative uh, 5. Or Boba T, 
HP plus six damage, stomp damage 50%, gain 25, and then we gain diarrhea as well. So, okay, we'll do that. Um, let's see if we can buy anything. Throw a seed when being hit, max seed plus one. Applying footed to enemies while dash. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll get the footed ability. So this boss is actually um, pretty spicy. Oh, I thought that we were immune to attack while we, we while we did our dash. Oh, we're taking we're taking way mu too much damage. Uh, I'm probably gonna die here. Wow, we're taking damage even when we're dashing. Come on now. I would have thought that dashing would mean that we don't take damage. We unlocked some new things. Not sure what they are. You win some, you lose some. That's true. Um, we also, we get mangoes during our playthrough. This, uh, mangoes are, they, they let us up, uh, get new characters. In fact, I'm going to unlock one now. I've never seen this character. They are the horseback look at you so cool on a horse release waves when butt slamming player no longer slowed when attacking okay we've got a little horse little horseman um we have no more mangoes we do have some nan to spend though so i'll uh spend some nan to increase our strength we'll try we'll pick our new stage um or i say our new stage um the only one I haven't defeated the first boss of. The game gets really difficult, I will say. But it still feels good, like, when you fight, kill that first boss. It's not like Isaac, you know, where, like, if you lose on the first boss, you only feel, like, awful. The first boss, to me, is, like, the mom fight, in, in, you know, in my opinion. Nice. So what do we do? What what is the how is the horse different? We're lying down right now. Okay. That was good. Got some money. Uh, oh, we have a treasure. We got some mango. Mangoes. We'll go to the alchemy and furnace. Yeah, you definitely want to be aggressive and oh yeah this these are the enemies i was dying to um these guys are really shitty when you have the cannon because they can hit you relentlessly and if you're not hitting them back then they can just like continuously smack you and also yeah they got that laser beam attack that sucks Oh, those, those guys can, like, stealth out of the way of my attacks. Damn. Okay, but we can, we can hit them as well. These are, these are guys that are gonna need to be smacked in order to... Oh, they dodged my... They're gonna need to, to get stomped on in order to, uh... Ta actually take damage. Oh god, these guys are annoying. <laughs> cool. Alright, that went well-ish. So we've got a donation box. Uh, I'm actually not super sure what the donation box does, but uh, it might kind of work like the donation box in Isaac, where something happens when you uh, improve it. Increase 20 max HP, this seems like a good idea. We'll go to the tavern. Ouch.
Ouch. Ouch. Just like trying desperately to fight back. Forget about it. Okay, that went well. Ouch. No, stop it. I think uh, I've, I haven't been able to beat this um, this stage because I get worn down very quickly by the stage's enemies. Um, your attacks apply footed. This seems really good. Throw a seed when using special. No, I like I like the footed ability. Um, we'll do store and chef. The chef usually offers health recovery. Nice. Uh oh, yeah, this I, I hate these fish. Oh god. I gotta prioritize them. Yes. I am gonna die. Oh god. Oh, all of that was pretty bad. Um, yellow coins no longer disappear. Oh, that's kind of nice. Eating restores HP, restores 20. Um, well, it'd be nice if we had some food to, to do that. Uh, every stab bar lots two extra stabs. Let's do that. Turned into hate. Enemies are bigger. Okay, yeah, so increasing your, your begging too much does, in fact, make the enemies more difficult. Oh god, these enemies are bigger. Oh my god! Look how big they are! That might be a good thing in some ways, because it's it's making it easier for me to stomp them. Oh god, the, the wind! Okay, um, I don't hold out a lot of hope. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, begging too much for sure killed us. We did unlock something new. Is that a new weapon, I wonder? No, we need to spend mangoes to do that. Yeah, that, uh, that electrical stage is absolutely kicking my butt. Releases waves when butt slamming. Player no longer slowed when attacking. Oh yeah. Um, we do have, like, an achievement list. Oh, wait a minute. I could have been collecting Nan from all of this. Oh my god. I, uh, kind of wish there was a just grab all Nan button. This is, this is actually going to help a lot. Yeah, definitely we need to press, like, grab all the NAN button, because we're, pre we're pressing this 65 times. My god. Scarecrow, where's the other one? Okay, there they are. And we've got item list. So you, you get a little bit of uh, meta progression just for finding other... Uh, like new items and stuff, which is kind of nice. We have over a hundred nan now. Okay, let's uh, let's use that. Let's increase our tankiness. 
Um, and our uh, maybe fortune. Yeah, our fortune, our health. And we can do high morale and dumpling. Dumpling makes it so that you get dumplings between rounds, um, which give you more health restore restoration. So uh, we'll do one more and I'll show off the last weapon that I've unlocked, although I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, and we'll do we'll do this boss again. I'm not sure what heat is. Pass base to unlock. So these are yet more ways of playing the game. So the cannon is very uh, it's quite difficult to use. It's it's got ammo, so you have to be mindful of like when you can or cannot use it. You can actually like wait for more ammo to come back. Taking a lot of damage right now that I don't need to be. Pretty sure. I wonder if you can. Okay, so yeah, you, you can only fire when you've got ammo. So you gotta like kind of stand your ground and wait. Also, our I think our main ability we can't uh, our, our like special ability we can't use until we have all three. Yeah. So I just think it's this. Uh, this is my least favorite weapon because it's so um, needy. And I don't think that the extra, I don't even think it does that much damage. I guess it like, it has um, a bit of area of effect. So they, uh, they really valued that area of effect by nerfing every other aspect of it. Um, press, oh, this is an alt. I don't necessarily want that actually. Your hat now has a little electric ball on it. Let's try this uh, planting seeds. I haven't tried that one before, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it does do some pretty good damage. That uh, plant seed plant was actually kind of interesting. We're just waiting. Gotta, we gotta wait for the... So I guess you gotta prioritize doing damage in other ways. You can't just, you know, auto-fire. You gotta, you gotta, like, bide your time a little bit and wait for your perfect strike. Oof, that was not the perfect strike right there. Okay, I mean, it's, uh, this is going well. Uh, what do we got here? Weapon damage scales according to HP when above 20%. What is, oh, extra clip is quite good. Uh, these are all really expensive. All right, we're gonna have to beg uh, what do we got here? Shield plus 20. Gain one hate dot event. No, thank you. Um, HP plus 5. Weapon damage plus 10%. But our defense is negative 5. So we can become very um, glass cannon, if you'll pardon the pun. Okay, let's wait for them all to gather up a little bit. Yeah. All right. Um, so things are... Uh, the fact that we have an increased clip size definitely helps. Ooh, that's a new enemy type. I haven't seen that one before. Ow. Ow. Wow, we walked right into that. Uh, this guy sucks. I guess this, uh, this, this option, um, said challenge and this is what it meant by challenge we are wearing it down it's pretty easy to avoid their attacks once you're uh, familiar with them there we go and we got something for our trouble we beat doozle or sorry doozy 
I just got an achievement for beating Doozy. Uh, attack supply footed. Your attacks electrocute enemies. That sounds good, but let's see what, what else we have on off offer. Nothing? Okay. Um, yeah, I do like the lightning strike. I think that's actually quite good. We'll do alchemy furnace. I'm not yet super familiar with, with what everything does. That's fine. I'll learn. Electricity is nice. It chains chain combos. Yeah, that was the, these are great opportunities for uh, not just chained attacks, but also our, our area of effect. We're doing see, this. I guess this is what I mean by like certain stages are much more suited for certain weapon types. Those guys from afar are... Ooh, how did I hit them, actually? I don't know what I did there. Uh, radish damage. What the heck is radish damage? Doozy damage. Thunder damage. Oh, we, we like thunder damage. Um, there's our next... Our, our boss. Increase 20... Uh, 20 defense. That would put us... No, we don't want to. We don't want to be in begging mode. Let's um, let's buy some armor. So that's basically like very predictably like that's temporary health. Eek! A horse rider. Here we go. Ouch! Ouch! Ouch. I'm not doing very much damage against him. If I bide my time, I can hit it. Oh god, that was really bad timing. Um, I can hit it with my uh, super attack basically every time. Oh god. Exhausted good. We killed it. So we get to see the next stage. We might get to see the second boss. Um, we did lose all of our armor, unfortunately. Treasure is always good because I don't think there's any downside to treasure. You don't have to pay for it. That was a bad miss on our uh, special. I like the, uh, the little blob with the, the raccoon hat. That's fun. Uh, I think it's a raccoon hat. The, I love the art style. I really, haven't really said it because it's, it is just like obviously very charming. Where's my hat? Do I lose my hat? Nice. I really don't use the hat enough. It, it is actually very, very useful. We got a mango bean, yellow bean. It looks like a mango to me, but it is in fact a yellow bean. Big tree plus donation box. Maybe if we, uh, maybe if we donate, we won't, we'll lose our, our begging status. We got really cool music on this stage. Ouch. Ouch. Let me use my ability, damn it. <laughs> my God. Yeah, this is why I don't like the cannon. Too often I'm like trying to use it and I can't because I've run out of ammo. Yo, can you die? Thank you. 
Well, that's uh, going to put us in a deficit. Let me see. Does this... Yeah, okay. That does actually recover our, our begging status. Let's see if we can't get ourselves out of the hated status. Uh, no. I guess not. Once you get in hated status, you're stuck there. So there's abilities here that we can't buy. Kind of sucks. Okay. Oh. I hate these little guys on the horses. They, they're, they don't seem to want to die. You'll die though. I guess I get a, like a little suicide run. Okay. Um... Gain 20 movement speed. Each enemy around you adds to your defense. Become immune to all explosive damage. Increase ammo recovery speed when lying down. I don't know, like, how do we lie down? Really not sure how one lies down. Um, less defense, extra HP and movement speed. Shield plus 20 gain one hate dot event. Jesus. Uh, oh, wait a minute. HP plus 10, weapon damage negative 15% for the next battle. I don't think we want that. Is the next battle... No, I guess the next battle is not the boss yet. Oh, God! Okay. Oh my god. We are so close to death. How am I losing health gradually? I had like no health left, basically. Gain 50 shield, increase... We, uh, we might as well gain the 50 shields. What else do we have here? Extra doozle damage. I guess we can buy everything. We don't need to beg for anything here. But, uh, oh wow, we're still not at the next boss yet. I guess we need, um, we need to do one more stage. Oh god, I missed with my special. God, I hate this. These enemies are so bad. It's really the, it's the cannon. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the cannon. It gives me, offers me basically zero flexibility. I, I did the stomp. I did the stomp though. Yo, but I did it though. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for being in Wonderland. This game is real cool. I like it a lot. I don't like the cannon, but I still like the game a lot. Um, wouldn't mind seeing what the next weapon is, but, uh, you know, that'll, that'll come later. Um, do I have enough to unlock another character? Ooh. Yeah, Nan Man. Identity has not been unlocked yet. Also, we have um, variants of each character, which I guess once we, you know, get some more mangoes, um, we can actually see what that looks like. Jar Jar Jar, huh? the most beloved character of the, the Star Bars universe is Jar Jar Jar. Oh, I used to buy these popsicles like so much as a kid. These were like my favorite popsicles. I love these things. That's uh, a little like unexpected dose of uh, nostalgia there. 
Um, I'll increase our tankiness and our dumpling. Sure. And I mean, I guess uh, something we could do... Oh, we don't have enough beans, but we can upgrade the next form of meta progression. So that's something we could do. Um, but yeah, cool game. Bing in Wonderland. Love it. If you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.